Hello YouTube, this is Tiny Games, and today I have got episode 6 of the Never Ending Nuke and this is going to be the nuke with the F2000 um, this was just a request by one person just who asked for the F2000 to uh, be shown getting a nuke with by me um, and yeah this is it, uh, I've got scavenger stopping power commando on um, just because that I found them the best perks would be the best job um, F2000, it's just got a bad reputation really, nobody really wants to use it because everyone usually thinks it's rubbish and it looks rubbish and etc etc. But this is the first time I'd used it so I've got gameplay of getting like 10 kills with it and what have you and but that was like a couple of days ago but um, now I've got the nuke and the best way I've found of just using the fan, uh, the dark fan, what am I on about, the F2000 is um, with no attachment at all. Although I unlocked like red dot sight and etc etc, I didn't bother putting that on. I, I like I like I actually liked the iron sights of the F2000 just because of the uh, the accuracy that you don't get with it. It's kind of made up the accuracy of the uh, iron sights of it. I mean, when you're sh when you're shooting with the um, shooting and just spraying, the recoil is going to be crazy. Because, uh, to counter that, whilst shooting. Just you moving your right analog stick down a little bit, just working that back just to uh, take off those little long shots like that. So if I didn't hold down the analog stick at all, and especially this shot here, getting the guy on the tank, um, just a little burst of fire work magic with this gun. Just because of the rate of fire is just so high, just small bursts of bullets are going to send uh, 100 points or 50 points on a normal weekend because it's double XP for some kind of prestige award system for World War 3. Um, yeah, so this gun, it's not going to win you sniper battles or anything against like a uh, non-recoil gun or one that's got, or just generally any gun. It's going to be some opponents, but that's not between like a one-on-one -on -one battle. So, especially in this gameplay, I felt playing stealth was like the only way I was going to get a decent kill streak. Especially as I didn't have a silence on either, so I was going to be coming up on the map and you see later there's a guy seeing me on the map and almost getting killed. But um, you've just got to be aware that, that that the enemy team are actually going to be seeing you on their uh, map on the top left, so they're going to be trying to get you. And if you are around the back of their spawn, they're going to know about it and uh, want to do something about it. Uh, this little phase of play here is quite nice. You've seen me here before with the Barrett coming up to this tank, and I'll do it again just because. I know we've got A and C, so they've got to be spawning around that building in uh, B. I get the sniper from here, building where they're obviously spawning. So I just put him off with a couple of bullets, and this guy gets attracted by the red door. And then I get around, get attracted by A, B, core, and so obviously our guys have pushed up, well done to them, and they managed to push these guys back, so I have to catch A, which gets me my Harriers, use the Harrier and Chopper Gunner just to be different again. to get good kind of, well, good as in, not the best, but better than I thought I would get, I would like, single deaths and maybe high 20s, 30s, I think I've got 40 and 6 with a... But, yeah, if you want me to upload that, just ask and I will. I'll probably do it uh, kind of after Modern Warfare 3 has been uh, put out because I'm just going to be continuing the series until that is. I'll probably end up going to be. Well, I don't know if I'm going to post that. I mean, there's going to be so much to talk about, there's going to be so much to do. So, that's probably your comment of the week, guys. It's, it's just. I'm not even weeks, so I've loaded these most of the days now. Mm -hmm. you just want the whole um, uh, Christ are you on about? Um, yes, what you're going to comment on this video. Just what you want to first see, my first video, whether you want to see multiplayer gameplay, just the, the first game of mine, just to see how I do, you can laugh at me, or trollalalalal at me, or you can beg to be me. Very nice now with it. Spread up this trouble gunner just because it was rubbish. I don't know why. 
the spawns were a bit crazy because we had A, C, and B. But guys, it's been an exciting ending for you, or not so much of an exciting ending. See, I don't really see the points, and I'm on 195, then 198, and 23, and that's something like shit myself. So I call it in. Yes, ching, nuke. What the fuck is it? Host migration. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's fine, right? I think it's fine. It's gonna be fine, okay? We'll get back into the game. Come on, cross your fingers. I'll get back into What? Again. The second host migration. Oh, you joke. What? 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 Oh. So I don't get really get to call it in, and I'm a bit... Not really ragey, but... I'm not really sure if it counts, so you guys gotta tell me whether it counts and what you'd like to see in Modern Warfare 3 first. So this is episode 6 of the Never Ending Noob with the F2000. I'm playing with my friend I'm Jan, who's a fan who's just contacted me and wanted to play with me. So yeah, check out his stuff, check out my stuff, click the videos here for more, and thank you for watching. Not many people do that anymore, like you kind of find that you're 